Hey there, guys. Flood Mod 14. Got a little churn count. Wind versus Banded Keith. Um, by the way, I think I can uh, attack directly with uh, main number Aqua here, actually. Yeah. <laughs> He'll still be alive? Okay. That works. I guess I could have done that two turns in a row, but. Uh, just a little look at the field I had there. Anyway, we're just going to end the turn, and uh, yeah, we should be able to reincarnate here, so. Uh, yeah. May, you know, suffer set a few times. Let's see. Uh, Cybersaurus, twin headed Thunder Dragon, has been promoted. Nice. I think uh, Cybersaurus is up to uh, Lieutenant uh, Colonel now. Oh, let me remove this in there. Uh, I guess we try for that. Okay, we got Conversion Factory. That's cool. There we go. Okay, last card. Uh, doesn't matter. Okay. Duplicate. I was going for seven completed there, but, you know, it's all good. Conversion Factory and Limit Removal. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Start this about that time. Okay, so let's save here, definitely, before we reincarnate. Also, we don't want to undo the experience we just got. Uh, let's see, as for the reincarnation, let's look around like <clears throat> like 19 deck cost or so. Uh, let's see. Um, trinkets. We got three Anthrosaurus. Maybe I'll do one of those. Um, maybe I'll do Infinite Dismissal. I actually have nine of these, so. Uh, let's try it. I'm looking for, like, there, there are certain cards I'm looking for around here. You know, more dragons, uh, Dark Piercing Light. Hmm. That card's okay, honestly. Um, hmm. Didn't get the best cards as far as the other two. Um, I don't think I'm gonna keep this one, but uh, you know we did get something around 21, which is what I'm looking for. Uh, but dark piercing light, in case you're interested. Yeah, flips all enemy cards face up. I mean, especially if you're new to the game. I mean, it's honestly a pretty good card, you know. So, and of course, you know this uh, like knockoff Karibo. I guess I get fused with other stuff, but yeah, yeah, you know. And then this is a water warrior monster, which you know. Oddly enough, power of Kai Shin and uh, Aqua Course would actually boost, which you know is interesting. You know, gives your uh, uh, Aqua deck some uh, metal coverage. So eh, there's that. I mean, that's, that's something to consider. But uh, I think we're just gonna we're gonna retry on that reincarnation. Yeah, we're gonna retry. Uh, ultimately, what I'm looking for are. Definitely more dragons at this point, or just like, you know, there are some good spells and traps too around the 20 to 10 rank. Like even uh, last reincarnation, we got like Time Wizard, like that. That's pretty good, honestly. Like there's some, there's some surprisingly good cards at a uh, low deck cost level. So yeah, we'll retry. Nothing wrong with that. So let's go with Anthro Swords this time. Uh, oh, there we go. It wouldn't let me at first. Okay. Let's try Anthosaurus. Uh, Armail. It's a warrior monster. Um, is that Armored Zombie? Uh, I don't think we have that. Oh, Shadow of Eyes. Wow. Well, that is pretty good, honestly. So, I think I only have one, had one of this before. Uh, honestly? Yeah, we'll keep this one. We'll keep this one. Okay. So, let's get on out of here. Definitely gives me something to mess with, like, uh, as far as in-between episodes. So, yeah. Definitely keep shout out eyes. That's a good one. Alright, and I think uh, we'll just go up against uh, Band of Keith here again to start this episode. Uh, yeah. I actually did uh, a couple things in between videos, so this may be the last uh, Duelist of the Roses episode I record tonight. Let's see. It all depends, really. Um, got Karyushin. That's pretty good. Uh, first turn. Why not? Let's send a little Tears of the Mermaid ahead. Alright. Hmm, powering up, huh, Keith? Not bad, not bad. We'll see what he threw away there just for lulls. Uh, 
Oh, pressure, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can switch this back to display. I had it on abbreviate while I was, uh... Oh, we got Seal of the Ancients. Nice. Uh, yeah, I had it on abbreviate while I was, uh... Uh, doing the, uh... What am I trying to say here? The, uh, turn count. The dual, you know, I just cut into, obviously. I was about to say another power? Jeez, man. Jeez Louise. I think I will send, uh... As far as I remember, Manakeet doesn't have any ritual monsters, so I think I'll just send this card in here kind of as a bluff, you know. But, uh, anyway. Man, he's just summoning to the right. To the right, to the right, to the right. That's fine, Keith. That's fine. Uh, let's see what we got here. Honestly, I may uh, send this, you know, kind of around the very outside. Um, but I'm definitely going to wait till he plays a few other cards. Uh, I would be interested in winning Magic Jammer from him, so uh, I may just wait till he's got quite a few cards down and then uh, try to activate that. What you got, Keith? Well, first, we're going to change the terrain to C. You see? Ground Attack of Mugroth. I wouldn't mind getting another one of those from me, honestly. Not too bad. As you've seen in our deck, that could make Amphibious Mugroth pretty interesting, though. That you can fuse a machine into something that's good on water. That's actually pretty cool. Down mode, engaged. Yeah, or... <laughs> I like the design of Ground Attacker Bug Roth, though. Very. I don't know, I don't know. Some of it may look like a basic machine, but uh, I don't know. I like it. Don't know why, I just do. Alright, my turn. Um. I guess for now, let's make, uh, I really just trying to want to lure some more stuff out at this point. Uh, let's move this here, and let's play Electric Blizzard right here in the middle. Alright. Kind of waiting on to draw, like, an Akihiron as well. Probably my turn there, Keith. There you go. He's summoning in the middle. of his cards are indeed machine monsters. Um, do I need to bring tears back? Maybe. Uh, there's that Akihiron. Okay. I think this actually works. Let's see. Yeah, because I can move Kairushin here. Uh -huh. Play Akihiron right here. Fusion Ha. To the field change, attack here. Very good, Aqua Dragon. Alright, and with that, I'm going to grab a drink here. Watch right. Alright, I'm going We run into a trap, but uh, as we've seen on the field, all we've got right now are monsters, so should be good, should be in good shape. Roar. Yeah, that's our boy Aqua Dream. Uh, I wonder what rank he's at, by the way. We've used him like a lot, a lot, a lot in this LP, uh, but he's at uh, major. Yeah, we don't fuse into him like every single duel. So, yeah, that's, that sounds about right. Uh, let's just end the turn for now. Believe it or not, there are cards Keith can play to beat Aqua Dragon. 
Uh, well, let me just say, like, a series of cards. A series of cards can beat Aqua Dragon, so, you know. Uh, I forgot this was even in my deck. You know, obviously we don't want to play it here because it would help him. Uh, so let's just, uh, see, can we make it here in time? No. Let's just get rid of that and go for this. Amazon of the Seas. There we go. Uh, let's move over here for now. And I'll move in with Alpha Dragon. Dice Armadillo. Uh, dice Try. Keep Dice Try. <laughs> It's funny. I don't, I don't know if we've ever shown a Dice Armadillo's attack in this game, but it actually looks like Son Sonic the Hedgehog. Fun fact. It, it, it literally, like, it literally, like, charges up, does a spin attack, and then... <laughs> Pretty funny. I, I, don't, I don't know who, who came up with that attack animation, but, you know, good on you. That, that's a pretty funny one. Honestly. Do, 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 roar. Yeah. Roar. All right. Do, do. Okay, with everything free, I think we will just, uh... Sure, I'll start moving tears around the very outside. And continue moving that. And we'll end the turn. What you got, Keith? Running to that side, huh? Not so sure that's a good idea with all the water I've spread around there, but you know. You do you, man. You do you. Alright, Aqua Dragon, continue the onslaught. Magic card, huh? What was it? It was. Magic Jammer. Okay, good. Okay, that's, you know. Like I said, I think I do want to try to win that, so. Huh, we could actually fuse into. Um, mystical sand. Yeah, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna finish my train of thought, so I finished that. But uh, yeah, so let's do it. That's what the rocks are here for. Give us a little advantage. Uh, the main thing though is that he gets a disadvantage on water. So you know, being here with mystical sand, and it's kind of weird. Why don't rocks get? You know, you wouldn't think rocks would be, you know, fine on the sea terrain. You know. Cause, you know, that's just, you know, that's, uh, it kind of seems like an oversight by the developers, but, you know, I guess the original Umi, the field card, it doesn't, you know, harm rock, rock types, so, but I mean, still, you would think, yeah, it's probably not good. My robotic knight, yeah. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, see, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Like, he can play cards like this to boost his other machines, and then, you know, play a really powerful one, like, if he gets two power-ups on his own slot machine... Oh, cloaking. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, if he gets two power-ups on his slot machine, yeah, he can take down Aqua Dragon. Artillery. Fire. Yeah, he has, like, this in the corner. Limiter removal. Yeah, he can do it. He definitely can. So, uh... Oh, I was about to say, Aqua Dragon, you okay there, buddy? Wasn't attacking for a second there. After this, I think we'll go against, like, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll go up against Panic, and then, uh, you know. Or maybe Bones. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, really depends on how long this stool takes, honestly. Do -do 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 -do. Alright. And we should be able to direct attack for game, right? Yeah, we can. Okay. Well, with that being said, let's just give everything a little more EXP. Yeah, okay. Can I summon? Hopefully, my deck later? No. Uh, let's give good old Akihiron some EXP. There you go. I mean, maybe this is a trap, though. No, no, wait, because he powered it up, though, right? Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, I'm pretty sure everything he has left is a monster because uh, we saw limiter removal affect it. So. Okie dokie. You win. Alright, let's try to win that magic jammer, shall we? Everyone, let's do it. Wish me luck, wish me luck. Not too many cards in here, though. Uh, okay. That's one, that's two. Boom. One, two, two. Boom. Oh, we got it. Nice. Okay. I guess we'll try for three in a row. Uh, oh, 
Where is it? That's what that's two. Oh, missed it by one. Okay. Well, uh, uh where's the limiter robo? There it is. Uh, oh, robotic knight's not too bad either. Uh, oh, I was close to robotic knight. Sorry, but we did get magic hammer. That's the that's kind of what I was looking for out of that one. Uh, looks like we have enough time. We're at about like 17 minutes or so. Uh, so let's go here to Darkness Ruler. Yeah, we've only played him five times. Let's do it. Try to see if we can get this guy to play some truck cards. And depending how short or long this one is, uh, probably be the end of the recording session. So, you know. You want this recording session to go long, hope that I brick, uh, which I kind of did, and that, uh, yeah, that Panic uh, plays his best cards. Alright, Aqua Course now, turn Endo. Oh, he's moving forward, eh? Hmm. Alright, let's, let's see. play something basic here. Morphing Jar. I'm honestly hoping he attacks us first. And we'll end the turn. What you got, buddy? Hmm. Okay. Uh, Time Seal. That spell binds the monster with the highest attack. <laughs> okay. Okay, first of all, there's no way Morphing Jar has the highest attack. Uh, but yeah, this is Time Seal. Definitely has a different effect in this game. Normally it skips the draw phase. Yeah, permanently spellbinds the monster on the field with the highest attack. Okay, so 700. That just tells me this card has to be has to be a trap card because there's no way with his deck leader ability that uh, yeah. So it's either a magic or trap card. This card right here it has to be. Absolutely has to be. That's a good draw. Um, let's see here. Okay, let's have Aqua Dragon go over yonder. There we go. And, uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna flip the face up. So, you know, if he's smart, he won't attack into it. Should I just power it up right now? No. But, uh, yeah. There's my little Aqua Dragon. You know what? Maybe I should have powered it up. Uh, depending on what that monster is. Oh, okay, okay. It's just Ryukushin powered, guys. I have a feeling. Yeah, it is. So I was going to say, if that's someone's skull, it probably would have attacked. Um, so, like I said, we know that's a trap card. Or a magic card, I guess. Um, let's go for... Um, okay, let's set this dino here. I'm going to have this dino, like, walk in next turn and try to trigger the trap. Yeah. Uh, for now... He gave this a power-up, too, right? So, let me do some math. Ricochet power? Okay, yeah, we should we should be okay. We should be okay to go here. And I will get the turn. Okay. What you got, Panic? Right. Foolish move, my man. Because I will change the field to Awata. Well, we do get to see Ryukishi attack, which, uh, might I add, probably, like, despite me running a water dip, probably one of my favorite animations so far. I mean, it just looks so cool, man. You get the smoke effect, the flamethrower, just, gee whiz. You hear the crackling? You hear that? I'm sorry, that's baller, man. That's cool. attacks like you know someone's cold you've seen that seen dark magic attack but uh yeah, that flamethrower or something else man <laughs> uh Kakadingen's also pretty cool yeah he does the uh you know the split attack like he does in the oh he's moving that card away wow okay um i could try 
to attack. Um, problem is this guy's got some really good trap cards that, uh, hmm, I don't want Aqua Dragon to fall into. Um, let's see, but I could run over this. Hmm, I wouldn't be close. I wouldn't be close enough to... Alright, let's just play this face down. Oh! Oh, okay, well in that case, I think we just won. Uh, yeah, that is his Gorgon's Eye, which I think I've shown before. But, uh, with that being said, we have won. So, all I'll do is, uh, sure, let's give this guy some experience here. And all I need to do is flip up Aqua Quartz, give Aqua Dragon some more points. And, yeah, this trap isn't going to stop our attack, so, bada bing. Okie dokie. That was a quick one. That was a pretty quick one, I have to say. We might have time for another duel this episode. Holy smokes. Okay. Yeah, the first hand didn't look too great, but uh, we drew Aqua Dragon, and that uh, basically sealed it. I guess we'll go for Job Change Bear. Uh, missed it. Uh, got it. King Castle. Got it. Okay. Good day's work. Good day's work. Uh, should I do another duel? Or should I just end it here? Let's see what time we're at. Um... Hmm. Uh, let me think. Do I think I can get another quick one versus this guy? That was pretty quick. I tell you. Well, I tell you what, guys, let's, uh, let's start a duel here. Don't know if I'll get everything in in time, but, you know, if, uh, if I need to, we'll record, like, the end of this duel in the next episode, so, you know, and then we'll end this recording session. Um, not bad, not bad. Same move as last time. Aqua Chorus down, forward, turn in, though. Let's play this guy who can infinitely respawn. Gold oil, yeah. Let's reveal him in defense. And we'll end our turn. Ah, okay. Alright. Okay. Um let's throw this aqua chorus in. See if he's working with a trap card. Aha! I thought so, Panic. Okay. Alright. And, uh... Well, it's not like he can move his monsters through my cards. So we're good. We'll end the turn. What you got, amigo? Are we gonna run over Aqua Force? No. Wow, okay. Well, that's, uh... Either his monster's got a flip effect, or, you know, <laughs> once again, he's just not making the best moves, you know, so... Uh, let's throw down Mesmeric Control, and uh, I think we're free to move forward now that we've got a trap card of our own. In the turn. Mm -hmm. Oh! Well, now he attacked me. Interesting. So he played Neck Hunter there last turn, but he didn't attack you. That's odd. That's very odd. Um... 1950, it's down to, huh? Um, not a conversion factory. I do have a uh, bug wealth in hand as well. Uh, let's see if this is a trap right here, right in front of me. Um, I'm gonna summon Sea King right here. Yeah, and I'll just move Aqua Course to the right here. Oh, it worked. Okay, so it's either a spell or a trap. Okay. But at least we still got to use that aqua course. Um, should I move back? Hmm. Nah. We'll be okay. Go ahead, bro. Okay, yeah, he moves the left. I thought he might like actually move this card out of the way and move up. There's there was a slight a slight chance of that, but uh, it's all good. Fury Sea King 2300. Oh yeah, Dark Chimera. Yeah, one of his cards that uh, he played in the anime. 
I guess we'll watch it attack. Hmm. Kind of flames, kind of just like a darkness blast attack. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Kind of like a smoke attack too, like smoke screen. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. Smoke screen in Pokemon. But, uh, anyway. Step up to Shroom Motion. See ya, Dr. Kimura. Reminds me of a Guardian Chimera from a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. The original Chimera. Nah, I'm pretty sure Yugi probably played. Well, did he? No, this card came in season one. I guess uh, that was the first Chimera. Oh wow, this card's down to nine, baby. Man, that's hard to pass up on. Uh, let's just try to attack. Ah, okay, I figured he had a trap, but you know, yeah, definitely, definitely tough to pass on attacking that. Uh, yeah, it's still at nine fifty. Wow. Um. I guess Fury Seeking, it seems like that's the most damage I can do to it. So, you know what? We're just gonna go for it. Okay. Fury Seeking. And we'll be at, yeah. 1300, that's fine. Not too much damage to it, but the good part is we spread more uh, seeds right here. Yeah. <laughs> Man, speaking of terrain. Remember how, like, the first time we dueled this guy, he played the Yami card? Like, he actually activated it. And, uh, yeah, ever since then, like, yeah, we really haven't got a chance to win it from this guy. You know, I wouldn't mind it, because, uh, it would help the other, one of our other decks. The one that's got, like, Gemini Elf in it, Dark Magician in it. Yeah, because I've got, like, Fiends, Fiends, Spellcasters, and Zombies. Like, all which the Yami field's good on, so... Three Yami in that deck would be pretty cool, but, uh, uh, by the way, what time are we at? Okay. Well, guys, um, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Can I still summon? No, I cannot. I just summoned. Okay, yeah, I think we're gonna end it here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just, all we'll do in the next episode, finish up this duel. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys all. Next time.